Hello children, welcome back to lesson 3. We have discussed so much about public speaking, audience and we have taken care of our anxieties also. I am sure by now you all know how to fight your fears. Now so much about audience, okay, you heard me talking about known audience, unknown audience, large audience, small audience and it's a basic part of our public speaking because you are talking to these people, the audience. Now. If these are the people you are talking to, if this is your audience, have you analyzed them? Have you understood them? So today we are going to discuss on know your audience or audience analysis. What is audience analysis? Why do I need to know them? I just have to go and give my speech. Now let me give you a scenario. The scenario is how many times have you gone and spoken to your nana, nannies, dadis, your grandparents? Okay, your grandmoms and granddads and you've spoken about something at length you've spoken to them and then they come back and say you've not understood anything because what you're doing is you are talking to them without even realizing what is it that they can understand, what is it that they can grasp and it has happened to many of us. In fact, with our parents too, go and talk to them about Android, iOS, uh, about technology, they will come back and tell you, we haven't understood, we don't understand what you're saying. So, even before you give your speech, there are certain things you have to take in mind. Though now we know that we have to fight our fears and we have taken care of that, now is the time to give your speech and prepare for that. So, the first step, even before you think about giving a speech or choosing a topic for that matter, you will have to understand your audience. So audience, understanding your audience is very important. Now you would ask me, why is it important? It is important because if you are talking to an audience and you do not know them, whatever you say, they will not be able to understand. Now knowing them does not mean that you will have to know them personally, but as a group, you should know them. In subsequent sections, I'll tell you how to do a research on audience, but just try and understand what is it that you need to know about your audience? Who are these audiences? Let's take certain examples. Like I've told you there are three or four basic kinds of public speaking that you will be doing at this moment or at this juncture that you are in in your school life. Now, when you are talking to your friends in the classroom, your teacher calls you that come and you know answer this question. Even then you've got these palpitations and all that. Now, this question that you are answering, if you say something that your audience will not understand because you've not done a research on them, neither will your teacher appreciate it nor will your classmates or friends appreciate it. Your teacher has asked you to come and deliver a lecture on some topic. All right, you have chosen a topic which is, and you are let's say in standard three and four, somehow you have learned about um, astronomy and all that and you come and talk about astronomy to your friends. Will they understand? Do they have the background to understand? No. So you've not done an audience analysis. Now let's say you're talking to a set of audience which is uh, which has not gone into school, let's say. You've been taken to um, an audience who have not gone for formal training or formal education and you start talking about technology, technological development, economy, this, that. Will they understand? They won't. So even before you choose a topic for your speech, you should do a thorough analysis of your audience. Who are these audience? Who am I talking to? What is their age? What is their demography in total? Which place do they belong to? Are they known to me? Are they unknown to me? All right. Uh, what are their likes and dislikes? What is it that interests them? What is it that I should not be talking to them? What are the considerations I should have before uh, talking to them? All these things you will have to analyze even before you go and speak to them. And this is a very important uh, thing. Now you must be saying that you have to go and give an elocution speech or a debate speech and all that. Why do I have to so spend so much time in doing analysis on audience when I have to do analysis on my topic? It's important because end of the day, you are trying to express yourself. You are trying to connect with your audience. And if you do not know them at all, you will not be able to build that connect. You will not be able to build that, uh, express yourself. You will not be able to influence them. You will not be able to inspire them. So you've got certain objectives when you are talking to them. You will not be able to meet those objectives. 
So for that reason, you need to do a thorough audience analysis. And in the next section, I will tell you how to do this audience analysis through research. So see you on the other side. Thank you very much.